Hey, what's up everybody? This is Browncoat67. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons right now. Then hit that bell notification button to make sure that you get all the updates. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Reddit. Or you can join my email list on SendFox at SendFox.com slash TheRealBrownCoat67. Soon with my email list you'll be getting exclusive content as well as early access updates to all my uploads before everybody else. Alright, so in this video here I'm going to show you how to build a working drawbridge with command blocks. Now this will be a drawbridge that automatically opens and lowers depending on your position. So as you see behind me here, uh, it's all closed up. And as we approach, it's going to open. Uh, this is automatic, so once you get inside here, the door is going to close behind you, keeping you safe. And when you're trying to leave, it'll open back up. Until again, you get far enough away that it closes. See? Bridge is gone. Now this works particularly well with builds if you're trying to maintain that classic medieval look uh, that works so well with Minecraft. Uh, if you're interested in learning how, I'm about to show you. Alright, so first things first, I need to get my supplies here. I'm going to start off by building um, the bridge structure, so I'm going to need some stairs. I'm going to need some smooth stone blocks, as well as some stone bricks. Then I'm also going to need a redstone block, a sticky piston, a comparator, repeaters, and redstone dust. Right now we're also going to get a command block. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to build some stairs here. Nothing too crazy. Alright, so this is going to be leading up to the bridge. Now from here, we're going to get the command block out. We're going to place that down right here. Now inside of this command block, we're going to put a test4 command in, and it's going to be at A, and we're going to do the square bracket, name, equals, oops, equals, and you're going to put your uh, gamer tag or whatever it is that your uh, name is here in Minecraft, and you're going to put a comma, R equals now I'm gonna put 10 in here because that is what I had on my previous build uh, that I just showed you but it's actually going to depend on uh, where you need your uh, bridge to be because you want to make sure that you are able to open the bridge from both sides uh, the reason I have 10 is because on the inside of the structure when you get up to the door where the door is you can uh, get close enough to trigger the command block and still open the door from the inside of your uh, safe castle or fortress. Uh, then we're going to close off the bracket here. And we're going to put this on repeat and always active. Now you're going to want to make sure, I already have mine on, but you're going to want to put game rule, command block output, whoops. false. You're going to you're going to want to put this in because otherwise this command block is just going to fill your screen up uh, with the fact that it has detected you. Um, you probably already noticed if you were following along with me. All right, and then we're going to put a comparator here. And we're going to go ahead and switch that on. Now, directly next to this comparator, we're going to put a sticky piston. Uh, this is what I like to call a sticky switch. It's uh, something that I've used in a lot of my builds over the years. Alright, then off this sticky switch, I'm going to place a repeater here. 
and a repeater here. Then I'm gonna dig into the ground on these points and I'm gonna put command blocks in. Alright, this is going to be basically the inner workings of your uh, drawbridge here. Now I'm going to seal it up. Alright, so now we have the basic build. Uh, we can start gathering the data that we need to fill in our command blocks. We're going to be using fill commands uh, to replace uh, the blocks in the doorway and where the bridge are. So we're going to start off over here. This is the side that is active when you are close. So you want to replace the blocks down here with your bridge uh, material. That I'm going to be using spruce planks. And we're going to want to make sure that we have air replacing these blocks here. And then on the other side, which is going to be active when we are farther than 10 blocks away from this command block, we're going to want to replace this section here with air and replace this section with the spruce planks to give the illusion that the door is opening and closing as you approach and, uh, you know, grow more distant. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is gather the command or the coordinates that we're, we're needing. So make sure in your settings that you have your coordinates being shown. Uh, pretty much any time you're doing command block builds, you're going to want those shown. So as you can see in the upper left hand corner of my screen right now, the block right here uh, is negative 3, 5, 36. So you're going to want to do what I'm doing here and go to one of the corners and uh, grab that coordinate. Then we're going to go down here to the other side. And we're also going to go to the uh, opposite uh, row as well as uh, the opposite side of the, the bridge here. So you're going to gather the coordinates for this air block right here and this one here. This one is negative 4, 5, 38. And again, yours are going to be different than mine, so make sure that you have your coordinates on and that you're doing this with your coordinates. We're also going to want to make sure to gather these ones. So your first one... And you're going to want to stand on the ground here in this one is, uh, for me, negative 3, 6, 39. And then to get the other one on here, you're going to move over. And you're going to f fly up all the way that you can. But we're going to add one extra to the middle number. Because our feet is the block that our coordinates are showing. And where our head is, is where we need the upper corner to be. So it's gonna be, for me, negative four, eight, 39. All right, so we're gonna start off with the command blocks, again, that are active when you are close. And that's going to be, and I know that you don't have to use the slashes in the command blocks. I just, I did something that I like to do. I always use slashes, I'm not sure why. Uh, so we're gonna do fill. And then I'm going to put in the coordinates for where my bridge is. So for me, that was negative 3, 5, 36. And the other point was negative 4, 5, 38. Then I'm going to put planks. And I'm going to put the uh, value here as 1. And I'll put replace air. And the value is 0. Now this, when I put redstone dust on it, is going to put the bridge here. Now for this one, I'm still going to use the fill command, but I'm going to be filling the, uh, the doorway with air, replacing planks. So I'm going to do fill, and this time I'm using the other set of coordinates. So for me it's negative 3. 6, 39, and then it was uh, negative 4, 8, 39. And then I'm going to put right here, um, air, 0, replace, planks, 1. 
and then I'm going to put the redstone dust right here. Now, right now, it's not going to do anything, really, because there's air there, so it's, it's really kind of superfluous at the moment, but when I set these other ones and go far enough away, and it puts the planks there, that command is going to open it back up when you come closer. So, again, this is the side that activates when you are farther away, so I'm going to start off with filling the bridge area with air. So these are the bridge coordinates. For me, again, that's negative 3, 5, 36. Moving right into the next set, negative 4, 5, 38. <clears throat> and that's going to be with air, 0, replace, planks, 1. So that means when I go too far away, it is going to replace the bridge with air securing my you know house moving on to the next one I am going to fill the doorway with planks and I'm going to replace the air blocks uh, so we're gonna do fill and I'm gonna do the doorway coordinates here negative 3 6 39 negative 4 8 39 and that's going to be planks 1 replace air zero so now when I go far away the bridge lifts up and closes the doorway completely securing the facility and then when I need to go inside and I get closer it automatically opens back up and then once you're inside it'll close up behind you until you need to leave of course Another thing you can do is wire a daylight sensor to the sticky switch as well so that your doorway remains open during the daytime all day and that it only opens and closes at nighttime when there's risk of hostile mobs getting inside. So again, going back to the uh, quick example that I built over here for you, you put a lava moat down here with the extending bridge. Make sure you dig deep enough down that the lava is not going to catch your bridge on fire, especially if you're using wood planks like I have here. I wanted to use wood because it looked more natural for the door. Uh, you know, it's definitely something that you would see on a drawbridge door. And me personally on the inside, I always like to add a little bit more detail with uh, what I have here is to simulate a kind of a gear system for the doorway. <clears throat> uh, so obviously you see that this is a grinding wheel and then the chains... I added a couple lanterns in here just to get a, you know, give it that entryway feel. Alright, I hope you liked the drawbridge build here that I had for you today. Uh, let me know in the comments what your thoughts were or if there's anything else that you need help with with uh, command blocks or redstone, I might be able to help you out. Uh, if you haven't done it yet, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Again, make sure you're following me on my Facebook, Twitter, or Reddit. Or, on my SendFox, sign up for my email list to get early updates, early access to content videos, and soon exclusive content. The links for all those are going to be in the description below. This was Browncode67, and I will catch you next time.